From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Caregiver Mercy Nangongo runs a small soup kitchen from a tiny shack. She buys the ingredients with her own money and makes okay. sure that tuberculosis right. patients have something to eat before taking their medicine. They, they know if I'm taking something, this thing is going to help to them. They believe in me. Tuberculosis has a firm grip on the township of Kailicha on the outskirts of Cape Town. The clinic has seen an increase in the number of people with multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, or MDR-TB. This young man has been diagnosed with MDR-TB. It's a virulent strain that occurs when a person with tuberculosis fails to complete the six to nine month course of medication, causing the body to develop a resistance to the drugs or catches TB from another person ill with a drug resistant strain. The problem, it often takes more than two months here to diagnose MDR-TB. Dr. Sweetness Sewendu sees dozens of patients a day. So it would be really great if you could have a vaccine, or if you can't have the vaccine, then if you could diagnose the TB as soon as possible, preferably within the same day. On the other side of town, scientists are pushing ahead with the genetic test to help doctors like Suwendu. The test cuts the days to diagnose MDR-TB from 70 to 2. Their work dovetails with research at the South African Tuberculosis Vaccine Initiative, the largest TB testing site in the world. Here, researchers believe they're edging closer to developing vaccines that could prevent TB, says clinical researcher Dr. Suzulu Moyo. Prospects are good. There are a lot of players that have come in. There's a lot of support from organizations like the WHO, and I think that creates you know, a good environment where people can work and actually make progress in getting a new vaccine. Marcos Espinal from the World Health Organization, or WHO, is Stop TB Executive Director. No one today need die of TB. No child should see the life of a mother or father destroyed by a disease that is completely curable. While researchers continue to work on vaccines, the key is to raise awareness about treating TB. And communities like Kailicha are doing just that. Okay. Gladys Noxa, who has MDR-TB, is dependent on caregivers like Mercy to bring her medication. It's vital that she complete the two-year course of pills and injections. If Gladys lapses, she could infect 10 to 15 people a year, one or two of whom may develop full-blown TB or MDR-TB. But while the medication can be unpleasant, Gladys is already noticing the difference it makes. Before the treatment, I couldn't even walk. I was hopeless. Now, after the treatment, I can even go to the toilet. I can go to the shop. I can do little things. While researchers play a critical role, on the ground, Mercy and her helpers are doing what they know best, pulling together for their people. They support each other, remaining hopeful as they tackle the disease head on. This report was prepared by Deborah Dougherty and Kim Clote for the United Nations.